All right, guys, welcome back. Dr. Rossi, we've completed a big portion of our right mastopexy here. And what I'm using is something that's uh, a little bit kind of becoming more and more popular to use, which is called Gala Shape. There's Gala Fly or Gala Derm, Gala Flex, and Gala Shape. Gala Shape is something that um, gives you a nice, I'm sorry, it's Gala Form, Gala Shape, and Gala uh, Flex. But what you use here, we use this for the Gala Shape is in a mastopexy to reinforce this soft tissue. So it's kind of creates almost like a autologous implant, but reinforces it down here at the inframammary fold. I, use, I put it in a little above it in case there ever is a little wound or anything so there's not exposed mesh. What this does is it actually incorporates into this tissue and the tissue over the top. As we bring that around, you see what it's going to, sh to create is a nice perky breast without an implant. And it's gonna give more longevity to this not dropping and bottoming out and creating a droopy breast again. So it's almost like cheating. It's giving you a nice implant looking uh, picture without having to use an implant. And that was what this patient did not want to use was an implant. So this little piece of mesh is gonna reinforce this tissue, allow her to stay perky much longer. And in, from what the literature shows is actually to have an increased perkiness long-term, um, you know, as time goes on. And this is something that a lot of us plastic surgeons are using to try to give patients an added advantage in a perkier breast with lifts. It can also be used with implants in a lift. Uh, but in this case, I always find it to be very useful. So again, gala shape sewed in around this little pedicle where the nipple's on. We're gonna bring this around, bring the nipple relar complex through its new position, and we'll show you that end result.